All right, we're waiting for you. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Come on, team. Let's let's see if we can uh, welcome everybody. Thank you so much for coming uh, and joining us on this historic day. Uh, I am joined uh, with our new Surge and Water Board uh, Board of Directors, uh, with the new Executive Director of the Surge and Water Board, uh, Cedric Grant. Mr. Ray Manning is the president pro tem of the Surgeon Water Board. Ray, thank you for your leadership, and board members, thank all of you for stepping up uh, and responding to the call uh, to serve. I am happy to report uh, to the citizens of New Orleans that we have delivered uh, on our promise. Uh, when I took office, uh, I listened very carefully to what the people of New Orleans said they wanted, and they said they wanted to uh, restructure and transform uh, city government and to lay the foundation for the future. I heard you when you said you wanted to reform uh, and modernize one of our most essential utilities, the Surge and Water Board. I heard you when you said we wanted to find a better way to repair and rebuild our aging infrastructure. I heard you when you said we wanted competent leaders in place with subject matter experience to manage an organization that is so critical to the health, the safety, and the security of our people. And so today I am happy to report to you that the new Surge and Water Board is here. Uh, we have brought on an executive director with over 40 years of experience in infrastructure management. Uh, I don't believe there's another person in the country uh, that has this gentleman's level of experience, expertise, and knowledge of infrastructure and water management uh, as it relates to the security and safety of the people of New Orleans. He's standing here with a newly appointed board, and we are making a commitment uh, to move into the 21st century very aggressively. Uh, this new surge and water board is going to integrate infrastructure management. Our citizens will have the benefit of Surge and Water Board, Public Works, and Capital Projects working together under one roof. The most common complaint that I hear, no matter where I go, no matter how many community meetings I go to, is please find a way to make sure that streets and Surge and Water Board and infrastructure improvements are working together and being coordinated, and we are here today uh, to make good on that promise. Uh, we are going to work hard to make sure that no more uh, when we're repairing your street one day, you'll only see it torn up uh, again uh, for another problem that someone says, that's not us, that's them. Uh, operations and management for all infrastructure projects are going to be fully coordinated, and these efficiencies are going to result in real-time savings uh, on programs and projects. Now, to do this, everyone has to come together, local businesses, elected officials, and most importantly, the community. It's required diligent work and patience, but now the process has been assembled, uh, and today we are embarking on a brand new day. Uh, for decades, one of our most precious organizations didn't have the resources that it needed. Uh, our city was put at risk. We were bleeding 40% of our water. Uh, Surge and Water Board Power and Plant had suffered multiple catastrophic failures, multiple boil water advisories. Surge and Water Board's bond ratings were junk status. Uh, this problem had been kicked down the road far too many times, but we do not do that. And so the first step was to secure the needed resources so that we can improve our performance. We secured over $280 million new dollars in federal funding for repairs to the thousands of waters, sewer lines, pumps, and pump stations. We secured $150 million in FEMA hazard mitigation funds to repair the Surge and Water Board power plant. We embedded Surge and Water Board and DPW engineers in the same room, working together, hand in hand. We enhanced water help program for the elderly and low-income customers, and we formed a partnership with Delgado and Job One to train the next generation of workers and leaders in the Surge and Water Board. The next thing that we did was we went to the public. We worked with the City Council to pass a much-needed rate increase that had been kicked down the road for many, many, many years. It's critical to supporting the Surge and Water Board's $3.3 million infrastructure program. Funding over 600 projects is going to be one of the largest programs in the city history. It will create over 25,000 jobs and over 200 permanent jobs. As a direct result, the bond ratings for the Sewage and Water Board have been upgraded. Sewage and Water Board's capital program is now fully funded for the first time in 25 years. Future improvements include electronic metering, additional customer service center, online account management, and online tracking. We promised then, if the public would give us those resources, to reform the governance of the Surge and Water Board. We have done that as well. Politics play too heavy a role in the Surge and Water Board. 
delayed adequately funding infrastructure improvements, leaving us with an antiquated system that we are stuck with today. With the support of the Arlings delegation, the community, university presidents, the business leaders, and community leaders, we have completely reorganized the board. We've made it smaller, we've made it faster, we've made it more professional. We went from 13 members to 11, reduced the terms from nine to four years, and now we have term limits. Members also must have expertise uh, in the field. Now I have standing behind me a dedicated board of experienced professionals uh, that are ready to serve, all unanimously uh, nominated and adopted by the City Council. Uh, I want to begin by recognizing Ray Manning, who is the Speaker Pro Tem, Mr. Arnold Arnold, who is the appointee from the Board of Liquidation, Ms. Raman Barnes, who is from District B, uh, Dr. Marion Bracey, Dr. Tamika Duplessis, Mr. Stagat Jacobs, Ms. Kerry Kane, Mr. Mark Moody, Mr. Joseph Pacho, and Ms. Kimberly Thomas. Now, I encourage you to look at their resumes. You will be as impressed as I am with their expertise in the various fields that are going to be necessary to create the best 21st century infrastructure water system in the country. Uh, and so today, uh, we begin a new chapter, and we are here to announce the final piece of the foundation that will secure water security for the future of New Orleans. To meet the challenges we faced, everybody must be on the same page. For too long, the city and the Surgeon Water Board were speaking different languages. As I said, nothing angers residents more, and especially me, than when a road is repaved and then next week is ripped up again to fix another problem. With the appointment of uh, Mr. Grant as the Executive Director, we have a unique opportunity present. And this morning, I am asking the Surge and Water Board and the City to enter into a cooperative endeavor agreement to create the Integrated Infrastructure Management System. Uh, the point of this is to minimize the disruption of city streets, sidewalks, and other public places. All repair in the city will now be fully coordinated. They teach you this in school. Measure twice, cut once and we are going to begin to do that in the city. Personnel will be used jointly in construction, acquisition, improvement, maintenance, and promotion of any public improvement project. This is includes public utilities, sewage, flood control, drainage, and streets. Project planning, funding, and procurement will be administered jointly to create efficiencies and savings, and the city will now coordinate operations management of public works, property management, capital projects, disaster management, DCDBG projects, Water management planning and implementation will be fully integrated. This is the partnership that everyone has asked for, and today we are going to deliver on the promise to make that happen. So ladies and gentlemen uh, of the city, today is the culmination of years of hard work of so many people, done in direct response to what you, the citizens, have asked us to do. We have delivered on our promise to put in place a new leadership with stronger accountability and governance. The hard work is ahead, but now we have the tools to get the job done. And so I can happily report to you, one of the building blocks that we have spent so much time putting together to secure the future of New Orleans is now in place. And I thank all of the ladies and gentlemen behind me for dedicating their time uh, and for the work that you are going to do. Uh, and with that, please help me welcome our new executive director, uh, Mr. Cedric Grant. Thank you. Thank you. Mayor Landrew, for your determined leadership in addressing our city's infrastructure challenges. Um, the mayor and I have talked about this for years. Uh, this was the vision that he gave me when, when we came in, and it is so good to stand here today uh, recognizing it in the way that we are, because where we're going is, is a really wonderful place. We have an opportunity like no other in, in history in New Orleans. We now know more than we ever knew because of what we've been through. We now know that we have the opportunity to manage uh, the infrastructure better than we have and to, quite honestly, live with water in a better way that we, than we have before. And, and so we're going to move forward in that. These rate increases that we, we've approved have given us the, 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 the fire in the belly to, to go do it. We now have the money. We now have the capital program in place and funded, so we're going to move forward on it. Um, to realize these opportunities, we intend to implement the following strategies. We, we're going to, as the mayor indicated, we're now talking about integrated infrastructure management. We're going to coordinate all of the, the, those things that anything you build, top, bottom, under the ground, above the ground, will now be uh, centrally coordinated. Um, we have a wonderful opportunity here. I mean, we could look at it as, as, as a challenge, but the challenge is we have an aging workforce. 
the day I took this job, there were 400 people in this organization that were ready for retirement out of 1,000. So we have an opportunity now to create through our partnership with Delgado and other colleges and universities an opportunity to train a whole new set of leaders, a whole new set of people coming in. We've already begun. I, I've only been here two weeks and I've signed 20. <laughs> so we're hiring people as we speak and we're, we're moving all forward on that. We're going to integrate our finances and, and better understand where all the money goes. I mean, Mary and I have been in intimate discussions with FEMA, and that's all we can, we can call them. But the best way to use that money is now going to be stretched across these organizations. And, and as late as yesterday, we were in <coughs> meetings with FEMA and GOSEP. Uh, business process integration. We have much to do in improving customer service, and our operations committee is going to be taking that on and enhancing our billing operations. We're about to start a major project in improving our IT so we can do develop better business processes. And one of the largest ones we're going to be fully implementing the executive order on procurement. And, and so we'll be moving forward on that in the coming months. Environmental integration, as I said, we, we, we are going to be the lead in this, this community on how we live with water. This is the water agency for, for the city of New Orleans. We, we know how to do it. We've done it. Quite honestly, we almost forgot how to do it, and we're now doing it again. So we're going to get ourselves back into that business and figure out ways that we can live with water as well as, as, as survive the water that surrounds us. And in, in the governmental, the mayor has given us an opportunity uh, it, through his leadership nationally and internationally to participate in forums that we would not normally have had the opportunity to do. So now, uh, thanks to mayor, we sit at the table of C40, which is the climate change initiative for the, ar around the world. We sit at the table with the Clinton Global initiative on innovative finance and we, we are founding members and participants in that thanks to the mayor and quite honestly we now have Rockefeller Foundation here doing two initiatives the 100 resilient cities the, the initiative where, we, where we'll have a chief resiliency officer working with us and Rockefeller reinvest where they are trying to help us figure out innovative finance so we, we, we're moving forward in many different ways we are going to stabilize our organization and, and you, you'll see nothing but progress coming out of this organization in, in the coming years and I want to thank this board that has embraced me and given me every opportunity to, to, to show them what we can do and um, look forward to their support as we go forward thank, thank you so much, much. <clears throat> and of course, none of this work is going to be possible without this new spectacular board. Each of them brings uh, their own level of expertise and experience, uh, subject matter independence, uh, and I look forward to working with them to help uh, us become a better agency. Uh, Suchitra Sapata will be my designee uh, to the board and will serve uh, in my absence. She is standing uh, behind me to my right. Uh, shoulders to teacher. It's, it, thank you so much for your leadership. And of course, uh, this board will uh, be led also by uh, the president pro tem, uh, Mr. Ray Manning, who has dedicated a huge amount of his time. Ray, thank you for your leadership. And board members, thank you for your leadership uh, to represent you today. I'd like to ask uh, Mr. Manning to make some comments. Ray, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Again, thank you very much, uh, Mayor Landrieu and, uh, and Cedric uh, Grant, who I've known uh, since 19, the early 80s. And, uh, and uh, we began our careers at City Hall uh, about the same time, and we had uh, an opportunity to grow up in the city, uh, he in the public sector, I in the private sector. The board of directors are excited about this opportunity to begin this uh, exciting new work under the leadership of uh, Mayor Landrieu and, and Mr. Grant. Um, standing here today as a group of professionals who are, is unprecedented in the history of the Sewage and Water Board in terms of the breadth of experience that they bring to this agency. Today the board will vote on a measure uh, that will ensure the coordination of projects between the city and the Sewage and Water Board. The CA will, will, we will approve, will require the city and the Sewage and Water Board to work hand in hand uh, like never before. These will present us opportunities to do a number of things, but chief among them will be saving money, saving time, and all of that makes sense in the environment in which uh, we have to live and work in terms of the, the kind of the studious nature uh, that we have to accomplish these uh, many projects. Uh, with that, uh, I will uh, turn it back over to the mayor. But again, I'd like to thank you, Mayor Landrieu, for giving me the opportunity to, to be in this position. Thank, thank you, you very sir. much. I okay. appreciate it. And finally, before I open any questions, this entire transition took a huge amount of work. Uh, 
led by uh, my Deputy Mayor Judy Reese Morse, who was standing uh, to our left, uh, and great integrated work with Cedric and his entire team. And I want to thank everybody for all the hard work. Uh, and I would just say it's time to get to work. So let's get at it. Um, any questions that you guys have, uh, we'll be happy to try to answer. Yeah, um, the CEA, my understanding is it's only for one year. How do you plan to continue? I mean, this work's going to take a long time. Well, there's no question about it. This is, this is transformational. It's new. Um, it's an attempt to make sure that we have in writing uh, some clarity on governance and organization, and I fully expect that it's going to work well. And when it does, uh, you know, I would hope that the Sergeant Water Board members would see fit to extend it. Uh, if the public sometime in the future wants to uh, handle the, re the authorization of the reorganization a different way by a charter change, I think you need to prove it first. Uh, and then go back to the public and say, this is what you asked for, this is how we did it. Uh, we continue to want to do it this way, and, um, and, and we'll take it from year to year. Is there any worry that this is, uh, you may see some blowback from maybe state legislators who point to the Sergeant Water Board as a state agency and the city of certain things? No, no, first of all, that's what, what we are as a partnership. You see in, in all kinds of governing structures, the discussion that I'm having with the sheriff now, you have a state-created thing that has local control. The argument with the juvenile justice is a state-created thing that the state has, uh, that the city has financial responsibility for. You see, for example, um, entities like the Regional Transit Authority, uh, in some instances the Aviation Board, where we have this cross-pollination. Those are partnerships. Nobody's usurping anything that anybody else had. Everybody's working together. The one thing that everybody in this city wants, elected officials and citizens, is better coordination on infrastructure projects. And there's only one way to get it. There is a misalignment in this state of authorization, responsibility, and responsibility. And when you have that misalignment, it creates dysfunction. What we're trying to do is push both of those things together to create the right structure so that we can give the citizens what it is that they want. Anybody yes. Else? No, I don't, I don't expect that that's going to happen. Cedric Grant is going to have retained the authority uh, to manage the, city, the, the, the few city entities that require integrated management with the Sorge and Water Board, and he's going to have authority, executive director, that manages Sorge and Water Board piece. So they will functionally act as one unit. Anybody else? All right, thank you. All right, thank you all so much. Board, thank you. Get to work. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much for uh, sitting in for me today. I appreciate it. I'm going to be off to my. To your friend? Yes. Right. Well, we can get out there.